I've got the new Nomad Polar Express palette and we're gonna do a look, we're gonna do some swatches, talk about it. So if you guys are interested, just keep watching. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I do post quite often, especially now that it's the holiday season. We've got lots of fun holiday palettes to chat about, especially indie. So if you like indie makeup, this is the place for you. Highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. I'm so excited to have the last palette of the year from Nomad Cosmetics to play with today. If you guys were going along with their guessing game, you might have figured out that the theme of this palette is the Polar Express. And as you can see, the packaging is super cute. We've got the Polar Express here on the front and the inside is super beautiful as well. I do have close-ups and swatches of this palette, so I'm gonna show those to you as well. And I will say this palette swatched so nicely. The mattes were incredibly creamy and opaque and the shimmers are those really nice soft foily shadows. So I feel like they're gonna perform really well on the eyes as well. This palette is launching at midnight on Tuesday or 11 p.m. Central Time if you are in the Central Time Zone and that'll be Monday night. So I'll definitely have a community tab post go up as well as an Instagram reminder just in case you guys are interested in picking this palette up. Like I said, it's a gorgeous color story. It's kind of a half neutral, half blue color story, which makes sense for the theme of the palette. They usually always follow along with that. And it says on the palette here that it was designed on a snowy winter day aboard the Polar Express. And this is gonna be supporting the WWF and their work in the Arctic. So that is super cool. This palette has a net weight of 0.05 ounces times 15 because there's 15 shadows in this palette and it has a 12 month shelf life. We've got seven beautiful shimmers and eight beautiful matte shades. So I'm sure that you will be able to create lots of beautiful looks with this one that are gonna be perfect for the holiday season. There's a lot of noise in the background because my kids are down here in the basement playing as well as my husband's working from home. So I do apologize for that, but I'm so excited to play with this palette. So let's go ahead and get into an eye look with the Polar Express palette from Nomad Cosmetics. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the shade Desert of Ice. It is a mid-tone blue, kind of a cool tone blue shade. And I'm gonna plop that right in the crease. I was gonna start with the darker shade, but I thought, let me just go in with the lighter shade. But I'm telling you, these mattes are so pigmented. Did you just see? how that little bit of shadow dispersed itself all over my crease without any difficulty at all. Okay, that blue is so vibrant. So next I wanna use the shade Polar Express. This is gonna be the shade I wanna use on my lids. I think this is either a duochrome or a multichrome, but it flips like blue purple, and I think it has like a gray shift to it as well. We'll see, I don't like to call things that are duochromes multichrome, so I'd rather call it a duochrome. But I'm pretty sure it's a multichrome. Either which way, we're gonna put that all over the lid. Somebody asked me on my Odin's Eye video what spray I was using, and it's just the, oh, I said it was the Scooby-Doo, but it's actually the Fresh Prince setting spray that Glamlight came out with, with their Fresh Prince collection. I am just trying to use up the setting spray. I don't love it for my face. It's not bad, but it's definitely not a favorite. So usually I just use my non-favorite setting sprays to wet my eyeshadows. I know some people use water too. I think that there's usually um, ingredients in setting sprays that kind of help with the ingredients in eyeshadows to like make it last longer, but you know, do what you gotta do. This is such a pretty color. I can definitely see the blue purple shift. And it's so pretty. Oh, that is such a pretty color. I was up way too late last night working on a video. So I'm definitely a little bit on the struggle bus, but my babysitter is here and I totally spent some of my babysitting time taking a shower today so I can clean my hair. <laughs> oh my gosh, mom, 
freaking life, y'all. Okay, next I'm gonna go into this brown shade right here and I'm gonna put that on the outer corner as well. I went in with my blue eyeliner pencil from Pacifica and now we're gonna finish up the lower lash line. So I'm just gonna grab a pencil brush from Sigma Beauty and I'm gonna go into the shade All Aboard, which is a snowy white shimmer shadow. And I'm gonna give it a nice spray and I'm just gonna put that on as the inner corner shadow right here. That is a very pretty, just like pure shimmery white color. I don't think there's any duochrome in it. But since it's going on top of a blue eyeshadow, I think it's gonna take on that blue. But it's cute. It's like a really pretty white inner corner shimmer shade if you're into that. And then I'm gonna take the shade North Pole, which is a really light blue. And I'm gonna run that like right along the lower lash line. These mattes are so pigmented. I'm gonna go into Desert of Ice which is the shade I used on my crease and run that pretty much on the lower lash line as well. And then I'm just gonna take that brush that I used for the outer corner as well as my crease and just kind of stamp a little bit of that dark blue into the lower lash line. Okay, so this is the finished look so far. Obviously I need to put on mascara. I'm gonna do that off camera. But I do have some other products with me that I want to test out because of the Sephora sale. I did pick this up right before the sale started. This is the LYS Higher Standards 3-Piece Mini Cream Glow Blush Stick Set. And I haven't done anything with this yet, so I thought I would go ahead and pair one of these blushes with this eye look today. And then if you guys are interested in picking this up, I can link it down below for you guys on YouTube shop as well as just in my description box in case you guys are interested in picking this up. But I found this was really good value. I have tried the LYS blush sticks, but I can't remember really. I'm pretty sure I've tried them. And I just thought this set was a great way to kind of retry them and have a variety of shades in my collection. Plus you guys know how much I love blush. So I thought that would be fun. Okay, so this box kind of opens up like a pizza slice. This set retails for $25, and I honestly think that's a really good price, especially if you're somebody like me that never really hits pan on a blush. So we have three shades to go ahead and swatch here. I didn't mean to turn this into a LYS video, but I'm thinking like, really, why not? So this is really pretty. It's a mauve shade. So this is the first shade I'm swatching. It's called Focused, and it is a shimmery blush. So I don't know if they have like two different formulas, because I think they have a matte. Definitely feel like there's shimmer in here or I'm like hallucinating. Both things could be true. And then we have the shade Elite. This one is definitely a red blush. Super pretty. Kind of like a raspberry tone. Very very sparkly looking. So I am a little bit interested to see how that's gonna go on. Very creamy though. And then the last shade is called, oh my gosh, Bubbly, I think. Hooey! Okay. Age, man, I tell you. Okay, so that one's also kind of like a pinky red. So all of these are kind of in the red family. Very cute. Which shade do I want to use? That is the big question. I think I'll just go in with the safe option and go with the first shade I swatch, which I think is this one called focus okay so i'm just gonna take it on a brush i'm not gonna go directly onto my face with the stick and i'm just using my friend angie's brand this is a singe beauty f03 it's a really nice domey brush so really kind of helps me blend this blush onto my cheeks this is cute it's a very shimmery so I would love to know from you guys if you've tried this, if you bought this kit, like give me all the info. I have my lights set to green and red for the holiday season. I'm feeling very festive today. And even yesterday when I was playing with 
the Odin's Eye palette. And then another new thing that I did try, this I used yesterday with my Odin's Eye look. This is from Sephora Collection. It is the Sparkling Honey Luminizer just from Sephora brand. I've been hearing people rave about this so I was curious as well. And I think it's a beautiful highlighter. It's not like overly blinding but it is pretty shimmery and gorgeous. Like just gives you like a super glaze. So I love that and they do have lots of shades too. So if you are a deeper complexion than me, I know they have some deeper highlighter colors but this is a good shade for me I think. I would have liked it to be a little bit more deep but it's not too harsh looking and it just melts into the skin so I love that for me as well. So those are some of the newer products that I picked up during the sale that I've been wanting to show you guys. And then I also grabbed this lip liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this really quick. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil Extreme in the shade Limitless Brown. I've been seeing so many people recommend this lip pencil. So I've been testing it out over the last three days. And I think it's nice. I've heard it's supposed to last really well. I wore it on a date with my husband. We went to a K-pop dinner and it definitely didn't last through that, but I will try it on today and see. It's pretty early still in the day, so I'll see how long it wears on my lips. Okay, I'm gonna use a product that I recommended for you guys during the sale. It's the Merit Matte Lipsticks, and this is the shade Equestrian. It's a beautiful dark brown shade, so I'm just gonna apply that. I love the soft matte finish of these lipsticks, so highly recommend picking one up during the sale if you guys are interested. And then I haven't worn this gloss since I filmed my video with the Robert Walsh and Bad Money collab, so I'm just going to put a little bit on. It has a really pretty sparkle to it, so I thought it would go well with this eye look. Now that the look is done, I'm going to go ahead and throw on some mascara, do something with this hair, and I'll be right back to show you guys the finished look. Y'all, I feel like it's been forever since I used my Dyson Airwrap, and I forget how easy and quick it is, so I'm definitely throwing the Dyson Airwrap in my recommendations list for the Sephora sale. I know it's not like super hip and new and cool, but it's still very effective and I know they're always like updating stuff. So I have, I think probably like one of the very first ones, but they're always creating like new attachments and I use the longer barrels because I have long hair and a lot of hair. So that makes it quick and easy for me as well. I haven't tried any of the other kind of dupes or newer things that have come out as far as that technology that's been done by other brands, but I've heard good things. So either which way, if you've been thinking about a Dyson or some kind of like air wrap situation, I literally just blow dried my hair and curled it like this so quickly, which is kind of blowing my mind right now. Anyways, okay, enough about the hair. Let's go ahead and talk about everything else on my face today in case you guys are curious. So you did see me use the LYS. I am very excited about that. I feel like these little blush sets are so fun. There's so many from so many different brands. If I had like infinity money, I would probably buy a bunch more, but this for 25 bucks is a great way to try some of the LYS stick blushes. I'm wearing my Milk Makeup Hydro Glow Primer today. And then for bronzer, I have on the Chanel Cream Bronzer. This is so good. I have it in the shade... I don't know if it says on here, but I think this is, oh, this is $3.95. So this is the Tan Deep Bronze and it's so good. I need to use this more for the price of it. I should be using it all the time. And then I always like to go over my cream bronzer with a powder bronzer. And I just really like this one from Jaclyn Cosmetics. So I've been trying to use that even though you no longer can buy it. Tower 28 Concealer, Huda Concealer. And then I just broke this out yesterday. This is the Dior Stick Foundation. And so far, I really, really like it. My skin looks amazing. There's a glow to it, but it's not too dewy. It looks very natural and the color matches perfection so I'm super happy I picked that up so that's pretty much everything on my face today everything else I kind of showed you and yeah I really like this look so let me know what you guys think now let's go ahead and chit chat 
about the Polar Express palette from Nomad Cosmetics. So usually I like to do a colorful look and a more everyday look, typically something a little bit more neutral and there's definitely some beautiful neutral tones in this palette so you can do a look like that. I'm a little crunch for time with this palette so I'm gonna have just this look go up. I definitely will be doing a neutral look with this palette at some point but overall I think this is beautiful. I didn't have any problems with the shadows I tried out today. I think that it turned out beautifully. I guess if I had one teeny tiny thing I would have loved a black just to help deepen up the blue matte shade or have this be even darker but it was okay. Like I was able to layer these two and make it dark but I would have liked it to be even darker. Other than that it's fine like it's not a big deal everything is beautiful I really like all the little symbols they had pressed on the shadows that's typically what Nomad does love the layout the packaging is a little bit simple I feel like we've gotten kind of used to them with their very glamorous last few packaging little things that they did to kind of make the palette even more elevated but I think this is really cute as well the snowy scene with the train is just such a cute little touch for a holiday palette and I think this is totally giftable and adorable. I should also probably show you guys the outer packaging. So it does have this like cutout and you can see the train and you can of course see that when the palette is in there as well. I just never really show the packaging because like really who cares about that that much. But on the back here we have all of the shades and the names and it also does have a little bit of a write up about all of the information on the eyeshadows in here. So yeah, overall I think this is really, really cute. I don't know if this is like a you need to run out and buy it right away kind of palette or if it's one that you can maybe wait for a sale. Either which way, you guys know I really like Nomad and I do have a discount code with them. It's just Cage Makeup. You can use that on their website anytime to save. Like I mentioned at the start of this video, this is launching on Monday night at 11 p.m. Central Time or midnight if you are on the East Coast. And I will definitely remind you guys in case you're interested in picking this up. If you guys have any questions, anything I missed, definitely ask in the comments. I'm super happy to help you guys out. And as always, I do have my monthly giveaway linked in the description box if you guys want to enter that. Thank you so much for hanging with me. I'm sure YouTube is suggesting a playlist for you guys to enjoy if you want to see any more videos today. And I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye, friends!